Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over the dank memes from the Dank Memes Website 19 subreddit. This is a compilation of two different uh, weeks, well, a whole month's worth of memes. Uh, there's not more than normal. Uh, this actually allows me to kind of narrow it down to ones that I particularly like instead of some that I don't have a whole lot to speak about, so that's a nice idea. Might keep doing it, might not, not really sure yet. Um, this one is by Zeal, me explaining an SCP, my conspiracy theorist relatives. Yeah, this is certainly something I could see happening. Imagining a bunch of people sitting down at a dinner table and trying to have a conversation and like somebody bringing up like, I found out about this website blah, 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 blah. and then your conspiracy theory uncle, a full grown adult, not a child, like an 11 or 12 year old who you would expect this from going, oh my God, is SCP real? Yeah, this is absolutely a thing that's going to happen at a dinner table one of these days if it hasn't already happened. <laughs> Conspiracy theories are crazy, y'all. We'll talk about... I think I've done some videos which involve talking about that a little bit. This one is by Shoulder. Mobile task force members, containment specialist researchers, the personnel who take close-up pictures of dangerous anomalies. Yeah, I've noticed in some articles the context of the art article's image doesn't really make any sense. Uh, I think the most pre prevalent example that I can think of off the top of my head is 682, or at least unless they've changed the image, but it looks like he's posing for like an Instagram or something. <laughs> it is, he's, he's supposed to be this dangerous, scary monster, and it just looks like he's relaxing on some hill somewhere looking over it the beautiful scenery and it just doesn't make any sense it's yeah this meme is by ash kruger all right get lost all of you you're fired go on scram dr sumerian the department of creating garfield content the department of funny hats the pasta physics department i made that one up not pot not pata physics pasta physics department of dance get out of here you have moochers department of intercourse department of minecraft i am pretty sure the department of minecraft is real uh, that's right, keep moving, except you. You stay. The department of effing over Carl. Yeah, see, <clears throat> the department, you know, that's not a department. Hey, wait a second, that isn't a department, is it? Did I make it as a department? I don't think I made it as a department. <laughs> it could be a department of its own. Ah, uh, stupid Carl. Uh, I like that article still so much. Even uh, uh, people, a lot of people might be bothered that their most uh, popular article isn't one of the deeper pieces they've written, but it's just the one about a bunch of seals that hate Carl. But hey, you know what? I'm happy with it. This meme is by Highbreak J. Secret Lab Unity Remake Containment Breach SCP two four five. Yeah, see, this is the thing. Every once in a while, I will see someone say, "Wouldn't it be really cool if there was an SCP that was also a video game?" And I'm like. There already is one. I made it like five to seven years ago, somewhere in that area, I think. Uh, SCP-245 exists, and you could just, you know, that, that's that's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's not bad. I think it's, it could be better. I mean, in, in retrospect, it's one of those things where it's like you finish a thing, and it was my very, very first uh attempts at working with anything with rpg maker and uh yeah i mean but i also you i also contextualized the uh usage of base assets so it was like one of those things was like well you're the scp foundation why would you get an artist and create custom art and a custom game for this containment of this anomaly when it comes with stuff just use the uh, default art and uh that's sort of the context of the uh, article uh, I do kind of wish that that didn't need to be a thing, but it was. This meme is by Optimistic Lucio, and um, one thing about it that always sticks out to me is every time, every time there is an article that has lots of pluses and negatives and a huge discussion page and a low rating, usually around zero, hovering either below or above, above it, but just around zero, uh, people are stuck in this mode where they're like, is this the most controversial article ever? N no. What happens is, is once people stop talking about these, either the creator or the uh, site decide it's not worth keeping up eventually. Uh, the ratings tend to drift downwards once people stop caring so much about it, or the are the authors like, I don't want to have this uh, low-rated thing uh, dragging down my average. So 
it's deleted. That's the thing. Every time it, but every time it happens, someone's like, I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, yeah, we've seen it. I've been here for a while. I've been here for about 10 years. It happens a lot. It's, you're not special. You're, or at least you're not unique. It doesn't happen that often. Let me, let me be clear. I'm, I'm being a little, uh, I'm, I'm being a little exact. I'm exaggerating a bit here, but it, it, it happens. Stop pretending like it's unique every time. Uh, this one is by Puzzle Headed Mode 302. How society and comics treat, uh, comics and movies treat people with superhuman abilities. How society actually treats them. Or it should say how society actually would treat them. You're coming with us. Yeah, uh, if you found out that, so if the government finds out that someone has superhuman abilities, that person is probably going into a lab somewhere. Because it's important to figure out, how is this happening? How are you breaking physics? That's, that's important to know. <laughs> you know, it's like... Magic exists. That seems like the kind of thing that we should probably find out how that happens, because otherwise the world could end in any, any moment and we wouldn't understand why. Foundation Classification Department. This is a shoulder meme. Uh, Foundation Classification Department. <laughs> when the anomaly is a box and they can't figure out how the box metaphor works now. Um, you can put a box in a box. What are you talking about? Also, I believe the found the classification department's metaphor for boxes is literally there is a, a thing for the anomaly is a box uh there's some context to it though either way it, it, this is this is meaning this is wrong shoulder shoulder you got this one wrong uh, this is actually a compilation of two different uh meme col meme collections I actually was able to select down to the ones i really thought i had something to say about um I'm trying to keep it short too, so I didn't pick a whole lot of any of the individual ones. But this is over the whole last month, and I I may continue doing this. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I I'm 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 kind of still trying to figure this out, uh, because also I, you know I, it's nice to have uh, an assured piece of content every two weeks, but uh, I'm trying to get, and I'm trying to get back to doing two videos a week. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki and Christina Amos, who both pledged at $100. And remember, now on Patreon, you can pledge and it will only charge you at the time you pledge. And from then on, on the date you've pledged uh, forever, hopefully. Uh, thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here and I will see you all again on Tuesday hopefully <laughs>